Picton to the Bluff, the core of the South Island transport system is the main trunk railway. But until recently, there was a great gap in the system. Over 70 years ago, a line to link up this gap was first projected. Today, it's a reality, the Waranui Parnassus Line. There were many difficulties of construction in driving a line through the seaward Kaikouras. Tunnels were even built in the open to guard against slips. Now completed, this line will give access to many acres of farmland. From public works camps, special trains bring the families of the men who built the railway, and the men themselves. They get a good reception, those who had the faith and determination, who knew that New Zealanders could do the job. Kaikoura station sees the trains come in from the north from Picton, from the south from Christchurch, as crowds gather for the opening ceremony. Residents who remember when the line was first suggested see a demonstration by the engine they longed to drive when they were small boys. At the opening ceremony, the Minister of Works describes the 20 tunnels of a total length of three miles and 40 bridges in the section. He tells how the work has been pushed on since 1936, in spite of many difficulties. He speaks of the men who died constructing the line. He introduces the engineers, the men who planned and worked on the job. All that remains now is to declare the line open. The ribbon is cut almost through and the official rail car opens the South Island main trunk. One line from Picton to the Bluff. To keep their minds active and alert, men recovering from sickness and wounds come to this part of the Wellington Public Hospital at all hours of the day. Trained supervisors give them sound advice on how to make all kinds of useful things. This returned man is shaping a pattern for another toy dog. Civilians work side by side with returned men who turn out articles which any expert craftsman would be proud of. Articles like this one, for instance. The service of occupational therapy is carried on in the hospital wards too. This chap is at present unable to take part in cabinet making or more strenuous work. He does, however, get a chance to find mental relaxation and enjoyment in making toys Toys which will add to the Christmas fun of children everywhere they go. This is one phase of occupational therapy which enables a man to learn for himself and also bring immediate pleasure to others. The final event of Wellington's Victory Band Week brought 10,000 to the Basin Reserve to enjoy the sunshine, to see an impressive display and to listen to some rousing music. A highlight of the day was the performance of massed Highland pipe bands. All the pipe bands of Wellington and Hutt Valley combined for this item.
Wellington Waterside Junior Band received an ovation for their display. The average age of these boys is 13. marching teams combined with the bands in a spectacular finale. During war years, the bands contributed much to public entertainment. Victory Band Week gave the Wellington public a chance to express their thanks. <laughs> 